In this episode, we will discuss the subject of not sticking to what the mind brings and not identifying with it. The mind is like clear water, but always there is some color in it because we are constantly emotional, constantly full of um, agitated thoughts, full of desires. It's never just clear and calm. But the aim is to have clear, calm water in your glass, for example, to be able to drink. And when we are meditating, we will not have that clear, calm water automatically right away. We're searching for that. So it means that whenever we see there is color in the water, for example, if we are angry, for if we are depressed, for if we are feeling lazy, for if whatever, it means it's like there is a color in the water and we have to throw it out and put clear water. But what happens is that we get sticky to one state of mind. Either we get disturbed by it or we want to stick to it and hold it. This is the wrong attitude to have. We have to see it as though it's really just the glass with whatever color is inside it at that moment. Oh, it's red. Oh, it's pink. Oh, green. In the same way. Oh, laziness. Oh, stress. Oh, anxiety wants to come. Oh, fear. Oh, whatever. Neither one is more important than another. Neither one is more worth paying attention to than another. Just we throw it out and we put clear water in its place. And that's it. So the most important thing to be able to do our job well in meditation is to detach ourselves, to not identify with whatever is in the glass, to see it as just, oh, this is what is coming, this is what is coming. It will bring so many different states of mind, so many different um, thoughts, ideas, some of them good, some of them horrible, some of them just, you want to say, what? What the hell? Why are you bringing this? But no, we should not even react at all to whatever the mind brings. Just say, oh, red, throw it away. Oh, not clear. Whatever is not clear, meaning whenever the mind is not clear, calm and joyful, is not good. It means that it's disturbed by something, so we need to throw it out. And it doesn't matter how many times we need to throw it out, we just need to keep throwing it out and putting clear water in its place. Another example is that the mind is like a river. People can throw many different things into the river and it just carries them along. But our job is to not be drowning in the river, but to stand by the side and just let whatever comes pass, 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 pass. So let's say it's like the river Ganges where people are always throwing dead bodies. And sometimes we will see dead bodies pass. Sometimes there is oh, a lot of dead bodies passing. Oh, sometimes oh, not too much passing. It's clear now. Sometimes oh, flowers, sometimes something else. But we have to stay by the side and not get involved. As soon as we reach out to it, want to stick to it and get involved, we will be pulled into the river and we will drown. So in meditation, it's like this. We have to see it like this, that whatever the mind brings is just another thing floating on the water. Oh, dead body. Oh, garbage. Oh, flowers. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Do not stick to it. Do not identify. Do not get involved. And the effort in meditation, the real effort, is to continue to see it like this continually to not give up to not get discouraged no matter how many dead bodies are coming along the river no matter how much color is coming in your water not to get frustrated or discouraged not to add more dead bodies on top of the ones that are already there or not to add more color in the water by getting angry with ourselves or getting frustrated or getting disappointed no matter what is there, always we have to see it in the same way. It's just like the river. Whatever is coming, it's coming, it's passing, it's coming, it's passing. There is another wonderful example in regard to this effort in particular. That it's like the bear when he comes out of hibernation in the beginning of the spring. And now he has to start catching fish for himself. So he's just come out of hibernation. He's sleepy. He is uncoordinated. He's been asleep all winter. And now when he first starts to try to catch salmon as they are jumping in the stream, he's not able to catch the first one. 
generally. He's, uh, he will miss it, he will miss it, he will try again, 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 again. It doesn't matter how many salmon he doesn't catch, he just has to catch one. And it's the next salmon that is coming that is important, not the one that he just missed. That one's gone. Forget about it, it's gone. So he can't allow himself to say, oh, I can't do it, oh, I'm not able. He can't allow himself to stop trying because if he stops trying, he's dead, basically. So he doesn't get discouraged. He's not looking at the salmon that he just missed. He's concerned about the one that's coming. And doesn't matter how many times, if it's a 100 times, 1,000 times, that he doesn't catch it, it doesn't matter. He has to catch the next one. So it's the same thing in meditation as well. We can't stick to whatever we missed or whatever just passed or whatever we, let's say, didn't catch in time. Or we can't stick to any wrong thoughts or ideas or harmful emotions that arise. Just, okay, get rid of them. What's coming next? Oh, that was no good. What's coming next? Next time, next time, next time. Try again, again, again. Try differently from a different angle, different technique. Adapt. See how it works. Watch what prevents you from practicing well, as you would do if you were the bear who has to catch the fish. You never give up, no matter how many times you don't succeed. So those were our three examples. First, to see that the mind is like clear water, and the aim is to always have clear water, but for that we should not get disturbed or get involved with the color in the water. Just see, oh, this is the color in the water, throw it away, put clear water. Same thing, the mind is like a river, and whether there's dead bodies floating on it, leaves floating on it, branches floating on it, whatever is floating on it, we don't care. We're just watching it pass. Don't get involved. As soon as you get involved, you fall in. And thirdly, the main effort is to keep on doing this and never get stuck on whatever garbage passed or whatever dead body is passed. In the same way as the bear cannot get stuck having regret or feeling discouraged because he didn't catch this fish or that fish or now that one I really thought I was going to catch it but I didn't in the meantime there's more fish coming he has to concentrate on the one that's coming same thing for us if we are busy in regret guilt um, anger towards ourselves over a kilesa that we had five minutes ago but there are more coming in fact this very frustration with ourselves is something that we have to observe and just let it pass along with all the rest. Whatever color in the mind that is not clear, calm and joyful is no good. Because it's only when the mind is clear, calm and joyful that wisdom can arise and that we can think rightly and act rightly.